Irish folklore has many stories about Finn McCool, the giant warrior and leader of the Fina tribe. This is not one of those stories. This is the story of Ushin, his son. It does begin with Finn McCool, though. One day, Finn McCool was out hunting, and he soon spied a deer. He began to chase after it, leaving all the other hunters behind. But he realised that his dogs were not chasing after the deer. They were running with her. Because they recognised her for what she truly was. A human in deer form. Finn caught her and took her home. And she turned back into Sive. A beautiful woman. He'd been turned into a deer by a jealous druid when she didn't return his love. Finn fell madly in love with Sive, and they were happy together for some time, and she became pregnant. The druid, however, was still jealous, and one night when Finn was away, he turned her back into a deer, and she ran off into the wild. Finn was devastated, and would often search for her in the woods. Years later, when he was in the woods, he found a child, and he immediately recognised it as the child of him and Sive. He named him Ushin, which means little deer. Now Ushin grew up to be as mighty a warrior as his father. He was handsome and brave, but he was also kind and generous. The reputation of Ushin spread far and wide. Once he was out hunting with his father and others of the Fina tribe, when over the water they saw a majestic white horse riding towards them. On the back was the most beautiful woman they'd ever seen. Now many of them were frightened, but not Ushin. When she got closer, he stopped and said, Who are you? I am Neve, she said. I am the daughter of the king in Tirnanog. I have heard of a warrior called Ushin, and I feel that he is the one destined to be my husband. I am Ushin, he said. I will go with you to Tirnanog. Now Finn McCool did not want to let him leave. He was quite worried that he would miss him. But Ushin had fallen madly in love with Neve immediately and desired to go with her. So he climbed upon the back of her great white horse and they rode off together over the sea to the land of Tirnanog. Now Tirnanog was a land of eternal youth and great beauty. The weather was always perfect. The people were always happy and nothing bad happened there. And Ushin was happy too. He and Neve were married and had three children. But Ushin was sad sometimes that he never got to see his family again or Ireland. And he missed it. And he begged Neve to let him go home just to see. Eventually she agreed and said that he could borrow her great white horse and travel over the sea back to Ireland. But, she said, I warn you, do not let your feet touch the ground, for as soon as they do, the spell will be broken, and you will never return to Tiernan Oak. I will be careful, said Oisin, and he mounted the horse and rode back to Ireland. When he got there, he realised there was nothing he recognised. His family home had fallen down. The people were unfamiliar. The time in Tirnanog had passed much slower than it did in Ireland. So what had felt like three years was actually 300. And everything was changed. Ishin was sad and decided to go back to Tirnanog. When he saw three old men trying to move a giant stone being kind-hearted, he couldn't resist helping them. And as he bent down to help, the saddle snapped and he fell to the ground. As soon as his feet touched the soil, 
He aged 300 years. The spell was broken. Now a frail old man. He died, never to see Tiernanunk again.